Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing Okay, y'all. Hold on, my lips dry as fuck, per usual. And I literally lost like all of my lip gloss since I've been here. Uh, don't even ask me about it. But anyways, um, today is Tuesday, the twenty third. Um. Okay, so I really haven't been making a videos these last couple of days well really since sunday because um your girl has not been getting any fucking sleep so last night i really got the full eight hours of sleep that a bitch really fucking needed so um it's been raining like crazy here in houston so i have not been dancing um i just been making my money off my other little platforms or whatever but i am really ready to wrap this houston trip up um the rain is really getting to me and that not being able to sleep thing um was really kind of bothering me too so um i think i'm gonna leave out thursday to my next um spot oh, okay my videos transferred my next spot i'm going to new orleans next y'all I know I look a mess. My hair was really fucking oily, so I had to take those bundles out and wash them really good. So what I did was, you know, boil them in fucking boiling hot water overnight. I let them sit in the shampoo, and then I woke up this morning and conditioned them. Now I'm letting them sit in the conditioner until I get back, and I'm going to wash them out. As far as um, the dancing world goes, it's been raining like crazy out here, like literally to the point where I thought it was going to flood last night. So I have not been dancing um, and then going towards New Orleans, I feel like the weather out there is going to be the exact same thing. So as of right now, I honestly just feel like I'm on a fucking vacation. Yeah, I'm making my money, but I'm not making like my goal amount every day. So it's like, okay. But the weekend is supposed to be fucking sunny, but I don't want to be in Houston no more. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I like it. I turned up, you know, I met some really cool people, but as far as like, um, dancing and shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shitty. Like I have not been doing shit guys. It's really been raining like that. And it just stopped for a little while. So I'm like, okay, let me get outside real quick and go handle some business that I have to do real quick. And then shit, I have to get my hair done tonight because I'm looking crazy. Like, I really look like I'm at home. Like, bro, you're not supposed to be looking like this out of town. So I have to get my shit all the way together. Um, right now, I'm at the store called Cats. It's a dance store. So I'm going to go in here and check them out, see what they have for me. Um... And then I probably will get an oil change and go get my brakes checked so that when I am ready to just get up and go, everything's in order. Uh, I really do need to clean my car out. It's a mess in here. Um, and then I probably just go wash my clothes and stuff because, um, yeah. <laughs> Houston has been crazy, guys. Oh, that's
take out for like three days I guess I would say and um yeah I'm gonna throw my bundles back in real quick and cover because I plan on going out tonight hopefully I don't need to go get a flat iron I really hope I don't have to go get a flat iron I don't even know what time it is right now. So I was doing this with the um the bubble hood in the spray, but I ended up getting the hair glue as well. But when I put the hair glue on it, it just really made my forehead itch and um, I don't have time for that right now on this trip. Cause like I said, um, I'm obviously wearing bundles and not fucking um, a wig. So it's not like I could just take it off and clean it the way I want to. So we are using Boho Liquid Gold. Honestly, I prefer this over the gel. I mean, over the glue, anyways. Do not mind me eating in the bathroom, y'all. He out there watching the movie, so I didn't want to have the door open while I'm talking and shit. But the bathtub and the toilet all the way over there, so. If you judge me, judge your mama too. I'm just playing. I'm gonna judge that sweet lady. I really want to go out of the country, but I think I'm gonna wait for that. Even though I'm gonna be going by my fucking self, I think I'm gonna wait for that for um until I really decide on when I'm gonna move. I finally just got this piece done, and I looked at the time. It is currently 6:30 at night. I'm probably gonna have to get a flat iron if we decide to go out tonight. Just for simple fact that I know that I don't have any time to like really put my long curls in and let it curl. And I don't want to buy a curling iron to curl it myself, honestly. <sighs> okay. All these wefts are double with I doubled them so I wouldn't have so many um separate tracks and plus it looks thicker when I do it this way so So 
since our dip is already, I kind of already know how I want to flow with it because um, that first time I did it in my previous video, that was my first time doing my own sewing. So now that I have gotten a little bit of experience, I know where I went wrong with the last one, even though it looked really good. Um, I had to fix it once because one of my tracks had slipped or how it broke off. So now I'm just going through this time and I'm doubling them. Cause bitch, we can't have no slipping tracks. It's really not that hard though. You really just gotta concentrate. Just some concentration and some patience. And we'll get her done. Coming out to Houston, y'all. Just be aware. Just be aware of everybody's attentions. Cause they're not they're not pure. You know what I'm saying? People these people are not real here. I don't know what the fuck going on, what type of games. Um but yeah. I'm not out here for that. I'd rather be rich than famous any day. I just wanna live my life in peace, do what I do, and be left the fuck alone. So you definitely have to be careful out here, y'all. Houston is cool and all. This rain, this weather is fucking bipolar as hell. But yeah, it's really more so the people you have to worry about here. So yeah, if y'all come to Houston, be fucking careful. Just know, I I love traveling alone, but if you're if you're not aware of your surroundings and you know you're not that real, you know I don't know how to put it. I don't want to say not smart, but just like you know you like to kick it, get drunk and shit, and don't really be knowing your surroundings and shit. She said it's not a place to be traveling by yourself. Definitely not. So just be careful. Okay, y'all, I am on my last bundle. I think I'm gonna put Flexi Rocks in because it's already eight o'clock and the guys are not even dressed or nothing or even speaking about doing anything. So I'm gonna put my Flexi Rocks in because, yeah, duh.
Okay, y'all, so um, my Houston trip is coming to an end. This is literally like my last 24 hours here. Um, I definitely enjoyed my time here, even though it's, it was raining like a beach since I got here. Uh, it's actually pretty fucking sunny today, so I'm just going to go out and about and go some, explore some shit that I wasn't able to do at first. Um... I just got an oil change. I know I was supposed to have been did that, but I did it today because I'm leaving out tomorrow. So I just wanted to get that out of the way for today. And um, yeah, I have went out last night. I went back to that club um, Prospect Park that I went to the other night to actually just go get some food because I heard that the food was good there, but it was definitely a vibe on a Wednesday rainy ass night. So I was like, okay, cool. So I stayed there until they closed. Um, you know, I got a hookah, I got food, I got drinks. Um, I met up with my guys that um, I met here, so they came out, and yeah, I enjoyed myself. So I did go to sleep around 3 a.m. I think that's the thing about Houston, though. Uh, these last few nights that I've been here, I've been up all fucking night for like, I there was a time where I was up at 5 a.m. I was up till 8 a.m. It was just actually the most, but I went to sleep at 3 a.m. last night and I got really good sleep, so that was good. And um, yeah, I washed my hair, did my hair yesterday. Um, I don't like the mousse that I use because uh, when I put my wand curls in and um, and brought them down this morning, it gave me like a loose wave look. And I like for my curls to be a little tighter so my hair is a little bit more fluffier and it's not getting fluffy right now. So it's cool because I really didn't have no real plans for today anyway so um yeah we're not gonna trip on that right now but yes y'all i woke up with a pimple this morning my skin is a little um i need to exfoliate but other than that i am chilling i've been chilling i did not go back to that store yet to get the oh this is the outfit it is so cute on me. It's so fitted. But um, I gotta go to that hair store before I go to go get the rest of those outfits because I really did like them. That is so cool. <laughs> Who make you guys the pieces? Wow. So I'm currently at the gallery and mall. Um, I did a little shopping. I got two different things. Um, this mall is big as fuck. And I am not good in crowded spaces. A lot of people here. And um, that shit kind of scares me. Like I have like social anxiety or something like that. I do not have no makeup on and not a pimple. My fucking face looks so bland right now with no lashes on. I definitely gotta go find some lashes if I feel like I'm going out tonight. Even though this is my last night, 
I think I'm gonna leave out by noon tomorrow. I don't know yet. Gotta see. But, um, yeah, this is my biggest hill. I didn't walk the home mall. Cause I wanna go eat, but I didn't wanna eat at the food court. I wanna eat at this other place that people been talking about. So I'm just gonna um, edit a little bit of content, um, wait on my friend, and then, yeah, the mall. <laughs> I'm taking him home this time. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Cute. You want Our fucking smoke shop, guys. Okay, so, all right, y'all, today is Saturday, what is it, January 27th, it is time for me to get the fuck out of Houston, I was supposed to left like two days ago, but it was raining on Thursday and I didn't want to drive in the rain, then I was supposed to leave yesterday to go meet a friend, but something happened, so we, I didn't end up leaving yesterday because it was kind of pointless at that point to be leaving by myself. Uh, I just did my hair. My flexi rods are in. It's a five hour drive. Um, I'm sure I probably won't be able to dance tonight, but I'm definitely going to pop outside because it is supposed to be like the Mardi Gras thing going on. Um, I don't know how long it lasts or when it began, but I seen last night that it is currently going on right now. So hopefully there's some people out and about. There's something for me to do once I get there. I came to Houston, I did what I had to do, I made my bread, now it's time to move on to the next city, y'all. And um, I probably I probably stay in each city for a week. I feel like that might be like the best bet. I know I said that this was going to be like a two-week vacation, so we'll see. If my mama gets to cussing me out, I probably do head back home. 
but I know that I'm gonna get really depressed and be ready to head right back out once I get there. So I'm gonna just keep on pushing it until my mom and them are sick of my dog or I'm just fed up with this vacation. And um, yeah, so I'm hopping on the highway right now. Like I said, I did my hair, I took a shower, I ate already. Um, my hair is laying down, my curls are in. My car is fucking packed like it's supposed to be. Um, I did buy some shit from the mall the other day. I guess I'll show y'all that once I find what hotel I'm um, popping up to. Uh, I'm going to just do what I did when I got here. I'm going to just find a, a um, hotel that's close to the club that I want to dance at. So, let me put the right address in. While I was sitting in my car, the bouncer came out and was like, hey, you here to dance, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but I look a fucking mess right now. Um, so I was really just trying to pull up real quick and go get ready and come back. So I was just going to go out tonight. I was just going to step out. Hold on. Yeah, so I literally was just going to step out tonight and just go be cute and go see the people. But these motherfuckers said I could dance tonight. No audition or nothing. But yeah, she could dance. So, oh, I'm trying to hurry up, because I just paid $200 for this one, and if I am not there by 1 o'clock, it's going to be fucking $200 tipping. I'm not trying to fucking pay no $200 tipping. Okay, that looks like too dark. So, I'm trying to go as fast as the beach can possibly go. So, here I am, bullshitting my makeup again. I left my fucking contacts in the car. Whew, I'm just going through it right now, y'all. I need some alcohol. Oh, I literally don't even want to dance, like, for real. Because, like, I just feel like I'm in a rush right now. And y'all know how I am. I'm, I'll be so irritated with shit. Like, please. I just fucking woke up. It is. Oh, what time is it? It is two o'clock or one fifty-two. Um, I just got. I was. I'm still fucking tired, y'all. For real. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I'm tired. But well, obviously I'm tired because I was at the club till seven in the fucking morning. So. I really just wanted to pop in real quick to tell y'all that I'm up, I'm alive. Um, I just got Jimmy John's because the bitch is starving. I was starving since last night, but I was too tired to eat anything. So I just popped up, brushed my teeth real quick to go make sure that my car was cool where it was parked at and then get something to eat. I'm about to go back to my hotel. I probably chill in my hotel today because I'm i exhausted, y'all. I can go for a nice ass bath and some more shit. So I probably just chill today get all my homework for the week done um edit content obviously make some new content uh, for my other platforms and um shit that's pretty much it i'm gonna do my money count after i'm done eating that way i could take a shower right after that um yeah so we're in new orleans new orleans <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's get back to this hotel room. 
Alright, um. Uh, so, um. This is what I made last night. Um. I was literally. There was literally, like, nobody in the club last night, so I literally had to get in where I fit in, like, literally like, diddy bopping around the fucking club, y'all. Because I paid 150 for tipping, and then, um, shit, my hotel room was, like, 150 So I really just wanted to make my tipping back. I wasn't really worried about the hotel fees or whatever. It was more so my tipping back. But, um... Yeah, I feel like I did pretty good for my first night. I didn't count it yet. Um, these little white papers are basically like um, my stage sets. Uh, I made most of my money on my stage sets. Um, yeah, th these are all stage sets. Uh, I made a couple of bucks on the floor with other ladies. Um, not, not the most, just, but enough. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat my food and then I'm going to count up and I'm going to let y'all know like how the club went. I am a little salty about the club that I'm at right now because they only open up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it's just like, okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do to make money for the remainder of the week? So... But I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> a bitch is tired and I'm ready to go home. I miss my house. I miss my bed. I miss my dog. I miss my ex boyfriend. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm just bored. I mean, I'm not bored because I, I had a great time in Houston. And maybe that's more so why I'm ready to go home because, like, I was able to link up with my peoples in Houston. So, you know, of course they made me feel like I was at home. But being in New Orleans, I'm all by myself and I'm really kind of scared to go outside. <laughs> but I do want to check out some of the tourist attractions before I leave out. Um, I still did not count my bread from yesterday. Um, I just really don't even feel like it. Oh, what else? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of chilly here, too. I was expecting it to be a little warmer here. But that's another thing. I really don't want to leave because this upcoming week is supposed to be Mardi Gras week. And oh, I don't know. My cousins were supposed to be coming. It was just everything was just lined up and everything just kind of fell apart. So it's like I'm really on this trip all alone. I was supposed to be meeting my cousins in New Orleans. Uh, February 9th, I believe, through like the 13th, but they're not coming anymore. So that is just, everything's just kind of just thrown off right now. Um, I don't know. I told my mom that I was going to um, see how tonight went and determine if I want to stay another night. I, I already know that I'm just going to get up and go in the morning. I'm really ready to go home. I don't know what it is. I'm ready to go home. I did have fun though. I enjoyed myself. I made a lot of money, but now I need to figure out how to keep it going once I get to the crib. Because I'm not going to, I'm not working on 9 to 5. I don't care what nobody's talking about. I am not working on 9 to 5 until I get my bachelor's degree. And that's a couple of months down the line. So, yeah, maybe I'll start my business up or something. No, oh, these dark marks are killing me as fuck but yes y'all let me show you what i got from the mall the other day Ugh. so i went to aldo aldo had a collection with disney for their 100th year i think it was the 100th year i'm pretty sure it's the 100th year of disney but yes collab with disney and aldo um, I have I have my eyes on these heels for a long fucking time. Oh yeah, there you go. Disney, a hundred years of wonder. How cute is that? It got some cute little wrapping paper. 
the Disney characters or the Mickey Mouse people. Um, I've been having my eyes on these heels for like a month or two now. And I finally got them. And I'm going to wear them when I get home so I can celebrate my past birthday with my family. So I got to go find a cute little dress to wear with this or something because these are hot. Yes, honey. So I found about those. Um, these was not birthday gifts to myself. This was just some some shit that I had always just really wanted. My birthday gift to myself, I really want to go get the um. I really want a Louis V bag. <laughs> I know. I really want one. But it's like, bitch, I don't even go nowhere, do enough to get one. But I think I'm going to get one. I think I'm going to get one. And then I got this cute little pajama set from Savage X Fenty Lingerie by Rihanna. And I can't wait to wear it for whoever I claim as my boyfriend once I get home. Because a bitch does not sleep by herself. I hate sleeping by myself. So that's why I'm always glad that I have a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend, and a best friend. Because I gotta do what I do. So hopefully me and my ex-boyfriend re reconcile some shit. But if not, I'm just gonna move on and find me somebody else. Oh well. Oh well. Because no. Do I look like I take out the trash and shit? No. I don't like taking out trash. No. Do I look like I like sleeping alone? No. I don't. So it's 9 o'clock. I have to be at this club at 11. It's literally like up the street. I'm just being lazy right now. I pretty much packed up all my stuff so I can take some shit down to my car. Um tonight that way in the morning i don't have as much shit to bring down because i know i know i'm gonna leave i already know how i am i don't know i'm just tired i don't know i don't know if it's because i'm by myself or what but because i already know i'm gonna get home and the same shit's gonna happen i'm gonna get really depressed I'm going to be so upset that I'm at home in cold-ass Wisconsin. And then I'm going to get up and want to go. So it's like, I don't know. I probably just, I probably go, I'm going to go home. But I probably won't let nobody know that I'm home besides like my mom and my sister. You know, my, my, my family. Let them know that I'm at the crib and just chill in my house. Because I think that's what it is. I think I'm like homesick. Because I want to cook. Like, I miss my dog for sure. So, I think I'm just going to drive to the crib. I think I'm going to bust down, like, however many hours it takes for me to get to Chicago. Nah, because I forgot it's Monday. Hmm. I probably just shoot all the way to the crib. I probably shoot all the way to the crib at, like, noon tomorrow. So, I think it's, like, a 14-hour drive from here. So, shoot all the way to the crib and just chill in my crib for, like, a week. And not even let nobody know that I'm at the house and just chill until I figure out what I want to do next. Because I think I do want to come back here for Mardi Gras weekend. I just don't want to be sitting here for a whole week with literally nothing to do. Or like, you know, no, no money to be made. Because like I just did that in Houston. And this is the only club that I actually know of or actually like in this area. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just need to pray and ask God what he think I should be doing. Because the bitch is not going home to stay.
I just ate some fucking seafood. That shit was so good. Um, I didn't finish it, so I just gave it to a homeless man that was outside of the place because I didn't want that shit in my car. And I definitely didn't want any smelling seafood my whole ride home. Um, I have not made any certain plans on where I want to stop, so I'm going to just drive until I feel like stopping. Um, I guess my goal is to at least get to Chicago. I mean, uh, Illinois, the border of Illinois. That way I would know that I only have like a few hours to get home. Um, all together, my trip back to the crib is 14 motherfucking hours, y'all. So it's gonna be a long ride home. A long ride home. But I am really ready to get home. I just wanna lay in my bed and be left alone for like a week <laughs> i just need a week to myself even though i've been on this trip by myself for many i really do want to see my niece and you know say hello and stuff to my mom and my sisters and my people who've been um checking in on me and shit while i've been on my little vacation or my tour my little run but other than that i just want to sleep so i hope everybody let me be i honestly don't even want to let nobody know that i'm home I just want to pick up my dog and just literally be in the crib for a few days. I know my dog missed the fuck out of me and I miss my dog too. That's my baby. That's my best friend. So I just, I filled my tank up already. Um, so that usually lasts me about a good four hours. So I guess I will check back in with y'all around five o'clock because it's two o'clock right now. I'm gonna just bust this highway down. It says if I just keep on going, I'll make it home at four in the morning. So hopefully if I'm just vibing out, I can push it. But I'm tired already. So we're gonna see how this go. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a sec. I would have been so fucking straight if it wasn't muddy out here. Um, so what had happened was I am I'm in Illinois right now. Um, it was like black ice, and I did like a donut. Like a bitch was really like spinning like this, but I'm a certified whipper. So what I learned was if you go on this way, rotate the wheel this way. When you go this way, rotate the wheel this way, and that's what a bitch was doing, y'all. So I'm like, whoo, whoo. Ooh, trying to stay calm like okay cool i got this just don't hit shit don't mess up your baby a big ass semi comes speeding behind me i'm like 
fuck. I ain't got no choice but to whip this bitch into the fucking, what is this? The meridian, the middle part. I'm in a ditch. So I swerve into the ditch. Boom, hit the ditch. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, all right, let me try to drive about this bitch. So I'm trying to drive out of this bitch. Nothing but mud. Nothing but mud. <laughs> my baby is cool as of right now like there's no marks around the body area i don't know how the wheels are though i'm hoping everything is good um okay so i don't know if y'all can hear me right now because it's loud in this truck but um i'm sitting in the truck his big ass truck while he's trying to maneuver my car out of the ditch um yeah my baby y'all uh, Sick, y'all. I just hope that she is good and I'm able to like just get it on this road and continue driving home. Cause boy, boy, boy. Four hours away from the crib, y'all. Out of a whole 16 hours, the last four hours. <laughs> but that's because it's fucking. Oh, that's what I gotta get the fuck out of Wisconsin, y'all. Ain't no way in hell. And I was only going like 75 because I seen that it looked like it was like a little bit of snow on the ground. But you can tell that it's melting. Everything's melting. So it's nothing but I'm like stuck in mud. I really hope my car is good. I just want to get home, y'all. I just want to get my bed. <laughs> I should have stayed where the fuck I was at. I don't know what my thirsty crybaby ass, homesick ass. I should have stayed home. I mean, stayed in fucking New Orleans. So, I don't know. I probably won't go on a little trip for a little minute because this did just irritate the fuck out of me. And I just want to chill. But my next move is definitely getting the fuck from up north. I am not an up north ass bitch. I'll, I'll let y'all know when I get home. Wednesday, January 31st. Um, so this is just me checking off for this fucking video for this week or for next week. Oh, look at my face breaking out. That's disgusting. And I just got home. I was like, no, we're racing dirty. <laughs> but um, I just want to let y'all know that I made it home. I made it home yesterday, but I slept through the whole fucking day yesterday. A bitch was really fucking tired. And then after that little minor incident I have went through, um, I just wanted to chill, get my mind together. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm home. I'm safe. Um, I got so much shit planned for, uh, February. Like, literally, I have something to do every weekend of February. So, it's, it's gonna be a lit money, big money we ain't claiming nothing but money. Who the fuck is that? But anyways, um, <laughs> we ain't claiming nothing but big money for February. Um, I made my coins um, for January. So I'm satisfied with that. Um, yeah, but y'all know tax season is here. My fuck is going to be spending a little tax money as well as the summertime is coming up. So I hope everybody been grinding all winter so y'all can um, cash me the fuck out. Um, I know I look a mess. I took my sewing out last night cause I don't know, I just felt like it. I do need to order some new bundles and stuff. I just got a lot of shit I need to do. But as of right now, I just went to go open up a new bank account because why not i just felt like opening a new bank account with a different company because i was with educators but i guess i am still with educators so i think i'm gonna close that account out because 
I don't know. I really don't be using it no more like how I used to. I just wanted to do something different. Um, what else? Currently at the grocery store. Um, I stepped on the scale last night and I'm 204 pounds, which is good. That means I lost weight uh throughout my little vacation. So that's good. I'm just happy to be back home. That way I can get back to my normal routine of working out and um eating right and eating in general. Um yeah. I just wanted to let y'all know before I end this video of that I am good, I am healthy, I am fine. God, God really be having my back, y'all. Uh, I did have a little attitude once I had slid into that bank um, the other day because what the fuck? I'm I really never did nothing like that before. I'm really I'm really certified for real when it comes to this driving shit. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I hope y'all liked my videos, my out of town videos. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend because yeah, we are going up this year. And I've really been loving how I've been looking on camera lately. Like my skin just been glowing, and like I don't know, I just feel like I've been so much more comfortable with talking. I don't know, I feel like being a little youtube vlogger person or whatever has really opened me up opened me up a lot more so i just know it's gonna be a good fucking year y'all and i'm glad that y'all all my people who have subscribed so far i'm glad that y'all here and y'all witness on witness witnessing all this with me so i just want to say thank y'all for the people who have subscribed and thank you to the people who will subscribe and yeah <laughs> Difficult. Difficult.